Our story begins many years ago, during the ancient times in Freljord. Here a young primitive yordle called Nar lived happily with his family. That was until an unknown one-eyed monster attacked the family and killed his parents. It is confirmed that this monster was not Velkos. And because during these times the Frozen Watchers ruled over these lands, it is safe to say that it might have been one of the Watchers. The young Yordle wanted to protect his siblings, but rage took over his body and transformed him into something more. The rest of the story is shrouded in mystery, but what we know is that in the end our young Yordle got frozen in ice. This magic kept Nar alive for centuries until the fall of the Frozen Watchers. The frost magic became weaker and weaker until Nar was finally able to break free. Meanwhile in the jungles south of the Great Barrier, a human hunter adopted an orphan known as Rengar. This hunter taught Rengar everything he knew and Rengar improved it with his feral instincts. Soon Rengar decided to test his own skills. He wandered into the jungle and he claimed a wide territory for himself. He used the skulls of his slain prey as a warning to anyone foolish enough to pass through his lands. But Rengar quickly realized that no beast in his domain was able to challenge him. Without challenge he couldn't push his limits and without pushing his limits he couldn't improve. Rengar feared that he would never feel the thrill of the hunt again. Fortunately for him, a new challenger appeared. A void creature with unusual ability to consume its prey and absorb its powers crossed over into this world. This creature was no other than Kha'Zix. At the beginning, Kha'Zix was very small and fragile. He started to consume small animals and insects and he began to grow slowly. But growing slowly was not his way. He decided to risk his own life in order to speed up the process. He started challenging the most dangerous beasts he could find. With each kill he changed, becoming stronger and faster predator. Soon, blinded by his own killing spree, Kha'Zix believed that he was unstoppable. One day, while feasting on a fresh kill, the predator became the prey. Rengar pounced from cover, tackling Kha'Zix to the ground. He roared in Kha'Zix's face, slashing and clawing furiously. Kha'Zix felt his own blood spill for the first time. Screeching in fury, Kha'Zix slashed at Rengar's eye, driving him back. After a brief moment, a glorious battle started. They fought from sunset to sunrise until both were near death. No one could predict how this fight would end up. And so they both decided to flee. Kha'Zix's ability to regenerate close his wounds very quickly. On the other hand, over the next few days, Rengar was wrecked with pain, but beneath it, he was happy. Finally, a worthy prey appeared, and the hunt was on. After few days, Rengar was fully healed. He wanted to test his skills before challenging Kha'Zix again, and so he wandered into the jungle. He was certain that Kha'Zix was the only one that could challenge him. But he was wrong. He found weird tracks of a beast destroying everything in its path. Rengar was confused because even though he was able to track down the end of the trail, the beast was not there. He followed the sound of a nearby stream of water. There he found a Yordle. Not only that, but the Yordle was also a hunter. Rengar believed that finding a Yordle while on a hunt is a good omen. He knew that he was about to find the beast. Even though Rengar was hiding, the Yordle noticed him. It picked up its bone boomerang and it ran towards Rengar. It babbled something, but Rengar didn't understand. 
He nodded in appreciation and he ventured onwards. After a while, Rengar tried to pick up the scent of his prey, but the Yordle followed him, interrupting his hunt again. Rengar turned and pointed in the distance, but the Yordle didn't understand. Rengar roared at the Yordle, Come on! but the Yordle <laughs> smiled back. Out of frustration, Rengar picked up the Yordle's boomerang and threw it high into the branches of a nearby tree. Then he turned away and continued his hunt. But after a few steps, he heard a mighty roar behind him as the tree with the boomerang crashed across his path. That's how Rengar found his prey.